Oh no, Sarah. I cannot believe you just tripped and fell over that ball. Are you okay? Oh my goodness, your knee. You guys, she needs help. What are we gonna do? Hey guys, it's me, Saint Decay. And here is my friend, Sarah, the one that you just saw that was hurt. And we're gonna learn today what happened. And in the back by the tree, you see our friend Ryan. Today is such an important day. We're going to talk about four important first aid skills that you need to help your friends or family if someone were to get hurt, if someone needed help, or if someone's having an emergency. Think of it as we're becoming first aid heroes. So follow me as we go to Safety K's first aid adventure. Let's go. It's safety K, it's safety K, it's safety K. Hey mom, Safety K, Ryan and I are going to play in the park for a little while. We will be right back and no worries, we will be safe. Hey guys, pose for the selfie. Aren't we having a great time out here? The weather is great and everyone is in a good mood. You guys high five. Oh no, Sarah. I cannot believe you just tripped and fell over that ball. Are you okay? Oh my goodness, your knee. You guys, she needs help. What are we gonna do? Okay guys, this is our first test. Skill number one. When we see someone in trouble, the first step is knowing when to call for help. And calling for help can mean finding the nearest adult that you know, finding your teacher or your parent that can help out when someone is having an emergency. However, if it's a very serious emergency, like someone is having trouble breathing or choking or they're hurt very bad and they need help, then you need to call 911. But it's very important that you know how to call for help because Sarah bumped her knee on the ground and she's not hurt too bad. We're going to find an adult to help her out, which brings me to the next skill. Skill number two, find a first aid kit. Do you know where your first aid kit is located? Is it at home, in the bathroom or the kitchen? Do you have one in a car? Being a first aid hero, you know where to find your kit. It's important so when someone gets hurt or needs help, you know where to find the first aid kit and provide them with assistance. So let's get this first aid kit for Sarah over here so we can help her with her knee. You may wanna ask your parent or guardian where the first aid kit is located. So then you would know where to go and grab it if there was an emergency. Here, I am back in Sarah's house grabbing the first aid kit. Luckily, she lives down the street from the park. You wanna make sure that you know where to quickly find the first aid kit to help somebody out if there was an emergency. Skill number three, control the bleeding. If an adult is nearby, let them treat the cut or scrape. If not, use a towel, a napkin, or a shirt or any cloth you can find to gently press on the scrape and stop the bleeding. Try not to use your bare hands and using gloves is even better. Once the bleeding stops, you can clean it with water and then cover it with a Band-Aid. Hey, Safety K, look. We were able to stop my knee from bleeding and I am feeling much better. You guys are real first aid heroes. Thank you so much. Look up guys, say cheese. I'm so proud of us today and how we were able to provide Sarah first aid help. You know, she got hurt earlier, we were all worried, but because we have the right skills, we know exactly what to do, but we're not done. We have one more first aid skill left next. Skill number four, know your family's special emergency rules. Sarah, it's important to know what kinds of special emergencies your family may have. For example, if your little brother is allergic to peanuts, we need to make sure that we don't have any peanut snacks around him. Or if your grandmother takes special medicine, we should know not to touch it and what to do if grandma needs help with it. And if your little sister needs to use an EpiPen because of her allergies, we should all know where it is and when to tell an adult to use it. These are your family's special safety rules to keep everyone safe and happy. Sarah, I'm happy you are feeling better. We did it, guys. We are real first aid heroes. 
Okay, guys, now you know that we need to have a quiz time to test your knowledge and see if you know the important skills you need to practice first aid safety. Safety K, I know we are about to start the quiz, but I need to grab something from the kitchen really fast. Oh no, Ryan, looks like you slip and fell and hurt your elbow, and now there's a little scratch. Okay guys, I need you to help me with the first question. Ryan trips and bumps his elbow, getting a little scratch. What should Safety K do first to help? The answer is call for help. Remember, it's skill number one. You should know how to call for help. Looking for an adult, a teacher, your guardian. You can call them on the phone if someone has a small or little injury. However, if there's no adults around and someone seriously hurt, then know how to call 911. But it's very important that you know that when you see someone injured, or hurt or has an emergency that you know how to call for help. Quiz question number two. After calling their parents for help, what should Safety K find to help with Ryan's little scratch? The answer is find a first aid kit. Remember to ask your parent or your guardian if you have a first aid kit at home so you know where to quickly go and find it if someone were to ever need it. Quiz question number three. Now that we have our first aid kit, what do we do to take care of Ryan's scratch? The answer, we can use a band-aid from the first aid kit to help control the bleeding. Good job, guys. Okay, last question. Quiz question number four, true or false? So is it true or false that you should talk with your family about their special rules for emergencies? Hmm, what do you guys think the answer is? I'll give you some time to think. Well, the answer is true. You should definitely talk to your family about their special rules for emergencies. You wanna know what to do if anyone were to ever get sick or hurt and needed your help. Guys, okay, you know that we're gonna have to review what we learned today. So read with me as we go over the first aid safety tips from today. First skill, number one, call for help. Number two, find a first aid kit. Number three, control the bleeding. Number four, know your family's special emergency rules. Be sure to follow these tips. Again, if someone is in need of help, if they're hurt, or even if they're having an emergency, you can be a first aid hero too. Today was a good day. Sarah did get hurt, but we used our first aid skills to help her. That is what teamwork is all about. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today for Safety K's first aid adventure. Be sure that you like and subscribe to my channel and be sure to watch more videos like this so you can have fun, be safe, and continue to learn more. Until next time, have a great day.